Hello everyone, today I'm going to be quickly going over the uh, discourse on Mount Olive. So, the discourse on Mount Olive is Peter, James and John and Andrew asked Jesus in private, tell us when these things will be and what will be the same when all these things are about to be accomplished. And Jesus goes on to say that nearer his return there will be wars and rumours of wars. Many will come in my name and will lead many astray. Say that no one leads you astray. Be on guard because they will turn you over to the councils and you will be hated by all for my name's sake. And after this, Jesus goes on to talk about the false Christ and the false prophets. He calls the Antichrist the abomination of desolation standing where he ought not to be. It's in the temple of Jerusalem. He's going to desecrate it. Why does he do this? It's because he's against God. He's anti-Christ. Anything that is against Jesus is anti-Christ. But we know that there's going to be one person who's going to be the, the head honcho. Um, and Jesus then goes on to talk about in Mark 13 verse 19 that there'll be a tribulation we've never seen before. The scale is going to be unprecedented. And the tribulation will be accompanied by false Christ, false prophets. And they'll lead many astray because they'll be performing these signs and wonders that if we're not careful, we could be led astray by. Jesus then says that after the tribulation, there'll be cosmic events. The sun will darken and the moon will show no light and the stars will fall from heaven. He then mentions a fig tree and just like how a fig tree shows its leaves it's a sign that the summer has to come and just like these events will be a sign that Jesus our Lord and Saviour is soon to come lastly lastly Jesus goes on and says that no one will know the day or the hour not even the son but only the father be on guard and keep awake, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey, and when he leaves home and puts his servants in charge, each with his work and commands the doorkeeper to stay awake. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. Jesus is giving a warning that we must stay alert. We must stay alert because we don't know when he's coming back. It could be tomorrow. We don't know. There's no man on this world that can say when he's coming back. No conspiracy theory. No event. Only the, our Father in heaven knows when Jesus will return. And so... In this time that we see that there's wars going on in Ukraine, wars going on in, 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 in Gaza, wars all the way across the world. We must not put that as our main focus, but we should be alert and aware of it. Our main focus should be to preach the good news to the lost. Because if no one sends a preacher... How will they know that their sins are forgiven? And so, if you're watching this and you're not a believer in Christ, you, you've got nothing to do with Christ, you're not a Christian, I just want to let you know that in this series, we're going to be covering up the events leading up to the crucifixion of Jesus and why he had to go and get crucified. If you don't believe, it, if you don't believe in Jesus, just look at the historical documents that claim he was a real individual, he was a real man. But not only was he a, a real man, he was fully man and he was fully God. And he lived the life that we could not live. And he took the punishment that you and I deserve because we stand before God guilty. And he took our punishment so that whoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. See, there's no amount of good work that would save you from the wrath of God. It is by Christ and Christ alone. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And Christ came to call sinners to repentance. 
God bless.